It takes a lot more time for uh, visually impaired children to gather the information uh, with their two hands and then form a, pic a mental picture in their mind. Uh, we want that to become something that you can visualize on a daily basis. You read those four properties. These students are quite good at finding their place in a book, so it's not problematic for them, but it is over hand over hand practically sometimes. And, um, and I have to verify where they're at and that they have done uh, what I requested of them uh, exactly how I, it was requested. So yes, it is, um, <laughs> it is very minute uh, tactile uh, exploration and description. This one, yes, okay, is shared between. Everything that we use here is an adaptation. The protractors are, uh, the rulers, the geo boards are, everything is, you know, and it sometimes it, it like the geo boards, I just found those very recently. Before we were using graph paper with rubber bands and push pins that would fly out of the board <laughs> that were dangerous to use if the elastics popped out. And that was not, you know, the most, the safest material to use. So I'm continually looking for adaptive material that could satisfy the the needs of of the goals that uh, that the teach the students have to meet squares okay and how many lines of we shatter the close the close space boundaries yes with with uh, with our students and we do it we don't even realize that we do it but it's true and they will take my finger and they'll say Francine come let me show you this is where I want you to check is is that correct is is there a problem there what do you think but uh, yes it's it's close proximity <laughs> whether we like it or not